Most of you probably want to know how to delete or switch the account when you open up mail app, because having more email addresses is common these days, so I will talk about that, I will show you how to change, log out of, delete or remove iPhone mail. What's up everybody, this is Apple Fox channel here and I totally understand that you are a bit confused about it. Because in the app itself you don't have any option to delete or to remove the account. Or if you go to the settings and navigate to the dedicated section for the mail app, which is this right here, you have so many cool things here that you maybe didn't know about, like how to change some stuff, but there isn't anything regarding the account and it's not that easy to switch or remove the mail account. And that's why you need to come back to the main section in the settings app. So this is the right here, you don't have to go to the general, but you have to open up this section which is called accounts and passwords. So once you tap on it, you can see that this is the page. And here is iCloud, Gmail and add account. So you can notice that I have two accounts running on my iPhone. The first one is iCloud. You probably also have iCloud set up like me. If you do, then open it up and make sure that the controller next to the mail is actually turned off. If it would be turned on, that would mean that in the mail app on my home screen, I'm using this iCloud email address, which is not true. By the way, if you haven't subscribed already, then I would recommend you to do so because I create tutorials like this one and I just don't want you to miss them. So think about that. So even though I have it turned off, if I come back to the home screen, you can see that I have all the emails still here. Actually, 11,000 emails, but uh, anyways, that is because besides iCloud, I have another account right here. This is the Gmail. So if I tap on this one, you can see that for this one, I have the mail turned on. If I uncheck it, that means that this email address or this Gmail is actually not being used for anything. And now if I come back to the home screen, you can see the email, the 11,000 emails actually disappeared. And if I open it up, this application looks like a brand new one. It looks like on a brand new iPhone. You also have the option to delete the entire account, but you can anytime just check it on and now I have all of the emails back, so I would recommend you to keep the account here, but only uncheck the things that you are not using, because for example, you may be using the calendars or the notes, and if you would delete the entire account, all of the things would disappear, and this is not what we want. So this is how you manage emails and accounts on the iPhone. You can always add a new one if you want, it doesn't have to be from Google, it can be from any of these, and you can always uncheck the one that you don't one and, and turn on the email address that you want to appear in the mail app, so it's really useful but you have to know how it works. You also may want to delete the entire app from the home screen in case you are not using it, in case you are using the one from Gmail, a dedicated application for emails and you don't want to use this one, in case your iPhone is running iOS 11, then it's very easy, you just have to hold down to this and click on the X next to it and just basically delete the app. I'm not gonna do that now because I use it. I said I was 11 but it also works in iOS 10 I believe. Most of you or the majority of the people are having iOS 11. iOS 12 is also on the way so in most cases it should always work. And this would be everything what I wanted to say in this video. I really hope that you found this tutorial useful. I really hope that I have answered your question and helped you. So if I did, then leave a like to let me know that you enjoyed it. And also subscribe for more content and see you in the next video. And also, I started to make videos about some different topics on a different channel. And just in case you would be interested, you can take a look at the video. If you are interested in some kind of travel vlogs and stuff like that, then you should take a look at it. So, see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.